Um, okay, so uh, I wanted to play with you about a process that I've been um, working on and uh, had some amazing results with and, and see what comes out of that. So Let's talk um, about what the vibrational components of it are because if you're having success with it, then it is vibrationally accurate. Yeah, it's, it's, it's okay, so yes, yeah, so we'll talk about that. So um, 60 days ago, I, I had an epiphany, right, and I said, and it's ridiculous to say it because you've been telling us so many times in so many ways, and I finally was like, dummy, I get it, I get it, right? So I said, I'm going to, for the next 30 days, I wrote out a calendar, and I said, for 30 days, every day, I'm going to look at this calendar, and I'm going to um, write down the things that I'm doing to make sure that I stay happy. Here's the things that I like to do, here's the things that get me in that positive place. And it forced me, early on it was a struggle because I forget, oh yeah, the calendar, I gotta go do something to make me happy, which sounds crazy. But um, started to do that, and after a while it picked up momentum. And, um, and one of the things that I did was, I wrote you a thank you letter for all the amazing things that happened as a result of the process, which hadn't happened yet. And so every day, twice a day, I would read that letter, picturing the hot seat and me reading it, or me saying it to you as if it had already happened. And, and I won't read the whole letter here, but um, some of the things that I... So let's just talk yeah. about the vibrationally accurate components so far. Okay. So by writing the letter now about something that hadn't manifested as if it already had manifested, you blurred the lines of present and future mm -hmm. and focused upon the vibration, which caused you to offer a vibration that was not split. Mm -hmm. And when a vibration isn't split and you focus upon it in a steady way, manifestations come to the vibration. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter. Everything is now. So whether you're thinking about the past or the present or the future, you're doing it all right now. Right. I've found the vibrational frequency and I'm practicing it now because of something that is coming. Mm -hmm. But when you play it like that, it shores up the vibration now. Yes. And the other, the other aspect of it too is um, I, I, didn't, I wasn't that specific on some of it. Because I, I noticed in the past I used to be very, very good at force filling my own grid. You know, I'd say, I want to date that person. I'm going to make this happen because she's the right one. And then, and then I'd be dating her and I'd go, ooh, no, no, sorry. Right? So, so, but I was very good with that. I, would, I could pick jobs. I'm going to get that job and it's going to be awesome. And I would get it and I would be miserable. So, on, so this, I talked about, I was less specific. And I said, okay, so one of the things is I've always wanted to be in, in business with my best friend. And we're going to finally figure out something that's going to be um, in a fun field that I maybe have no business in, but um, um, I'm gonna, we're gonna make that happen finally. And I'm gonna have, um, I'm gonna finally find the love of my life. And I wrote down all the attributes uh, of this woman. And I found that in reading it, by, by the time, in, in reading this letter to myself, pretending it had all, all already happened, um, I was in love with her, right? I, I, don't even, I didn't even know her, but the list was exhaustive. And it's, it's like, this is the most amazing woman on the planet. And, and I wrote about how, and I'm going to lose 15 pounds, and I'm, I'm going to eat whatever I want, and I'm going to not exercise, and it's going to be fantastic. <laughs> so I'm reading this miracle thing, and, and so over the 30 days, or 60 now, I lost, I didn't lose 15 pounds, I lost 17 pounds. Not, not, thank you, thank you, not changing anything. Um, my best friend calls me out of the blue and says, I've got this amazing idea for a business, we're going to be partners, I have no no business being in this field whatsoever, but it's the field I want to be in. And he said, we're 50-50 we're partners and, and we're getting all kinds of feedback on oh, this is going to be this am amazing thing. I'm going to be quitting my boring job soon and doing that full time. And then out of nowhere, a woman who I have carried a torch for for 10 years, who I never, we've been very, very good friends, all of a sudden one day says to me, I don't know why I'm saying this, but I can't, I can't not anymore. I am in love with you. And she is amazing, like amazing, and, and she's everything that's on the list, she's all of those things, and I'm sitting there, and I keep looking at her going, really, really, me? And she's saying the same thing to me, I can't believe it, so I don't want to talk her out of it, but, <laughs> I, so everything that I, that I put in here to thank you for, I'm here now to say thank you, thank you, thank you, from the bottom of my heart. So, let's talk about the components of this. It's very clear what he's been doing. Did you hear a few dozen words that you kind of wished he wasn't saying? <laughs> like dummy and the list was exhaustive. And can you feel how those words that usually 
we all cringe at didn't matter because the universe isn't hearing his words he doesn't mean any of those things with those words he's using those words to entertain the rest of us <laughs> and that the vibrational frequency of his being is one of he practiced himself into the momentum of expecting what he wanted through writing the list of what he wants and speaking of it as if it is already done yeah genius that was the one half of it and the, and the other half was um, so when I was doing those things uh, to make myself happy I wasn't doing it saying okay now I'm gonna pet my cat because somewhere the love of my life is coming right and I wasn't doing it to try to make it happen I was I was saying I got that in the letter I'm already gonna be thanking thanking Abraham and Esther and everybody I'm, i I get it she's gonna come out of, out of nowhere so right now I'm just gonna have fun petting the cat or doing what, whatever was on my list of fun things to do well hear what you're saying this is an important thing because what he's saying is he gets it that there's step one ask for what you want step two the universe has already lined it up and step three is getting in the place of allowing what you want but the important thing about the reason that you might want to pet your cat is in petting your cat you're doing the step three thing you can't do step one and step three at the same time so anything that you're doing that feels good while you're doing it is a step three moment mm -hmm. There are two things that you talked about that we really think are worth shining a little light on because of the, how effectively they worked for you. And we just want to talk about what that is. The first thing is when you are trying to motivate something into being, when you're trying to hammer it into being, you talked about that a little bit, there is this belief within you that there is some hurdle to overcome and so when you talked about wanting to hammer the grid into place when you take an easy approach about things then you're more likely to be inspired and the inspiration to act is really what we're talking about here mm -hmm. so by practicing the thoughts that feel good about the things that you really care about you practice the vibration until you are chronically in this place of allowing what you want mm -hmm. it's like on this emotional scale of spinning grid point of attraction discs you found yourself chronically in that happy good feeling place mm -hmm. because what you had written and what you were reading and what you therefore practiced into a place of expectation got you there so that you were chronically there mm -hmm. so that anything that is a vibrational match to that kind of momentum has to join you there mm -hmm. so we just want to point out the difference between being there and attracting up to where you are things that match it as opposed to being in a place of trying to make it happen and trying to push things along it's mm -hmm. like pushing a noodle <laughs> everything that you said is vibrationally accurate everything that we felt from you while you said it is vibrationally accurate